Hello everyone, welcome. I hope your day is good. Welcome to 1111 Tarot. All right, you guys, let's see what we've got going on today for energy, okay? Now, I am so excited to tell you guys, our channel is just growing like crazy. And in that, I want to give back to you guys because you're so supportive to me, right? So when we hit 4,000 subscribers, I'm going to get this little book away, this beautiful little kitchen table tarot, pull up a chair, shuffle the tarots, up, take two, right? Pull up a chair, shuffle the cards, and let's talk tarot. Melissa Sinova, I'm going to sign it, leave you a little message too. I'm going to pick one lucky subscriber. I'm going to do a blind pick on the list on that day when we hit 4,000. So I'm looking forward to giving this away. And it just might be you. A lot of the people that went on my channel always say, I hear it all the time. I've never won anything before. So this might be your day. All right, you guys. So I need to do a check um, with Summer Wells to see who was at her house on that day. Yes, a second check, right? It says self-esteem regularly and second. So let me grab a little swig of my tea. We're going to clear the energy with three loud rings on this. And then, you guys, we're going to dig in to see what energies were at Summer Wells or with Summer Wells at her house the day she went missing, okay? Because I think we're going to find out a lot more energies where there are, I've said it before many, many times in readings. And uh, I want to see if it holds true. So here we go. Let's go ahead. If you have headphones on, I highly recommend taking them off. Here we go. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, I ask that you hold my hand as I walk through the tarot that I may be a conduit for the truth, for the highest good of Summer Wells and her loved ones. I am protected from all weapons, whether they be spiritual, physical, or any other means. Nothing shall prosper against me. I thank you for the abundance. I thank you for the gift. I thank you for sight. Being able to express clearly the truth and only the truth that I may speak. I thank you for the guidance and protection. All right, lovelies. What do we have going on over here on this little wonderful little God radio? It's a second told. Yes. This last video, you guys, if you haven't had a chance to watch it about Summer, I would go watch it because she gives us information about her final placement, I think, is the best way to put it. It's just quite, it took me back. Yeah, it took me back a little. I took a few days off after I did a couple readings with her and some other energies. It was just so overwhelming. But I've recharged since then. We have Express Energy. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the beautiful energy, you guys. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. So right here is going to be the house itself. This is going to represent Summer's house. So we're going to go through this deck I'm making. It's called Missing a Menace. I should have had this out for you. We have an outdoor structure. home. So this is how I plan on using these missing in minutes. So we're going to go. I don't know why I have an outdoor structure here, but we're going to come back to this perhaps. We'll see. We'll see if I'm called to use it. I'll grab it. We're going to start with the home. I want to know the energy. What? That's so crazy. Express energy. I want to know the energies of the house that day. So let me see what's going on. We're going to grab this beautiful creature's tarot. We're going to give it a little shake. Okay. 
All right. Show me the energies of the home of Summer Wells. The day she actually goes missing. Show me the energies at the house. Whose energies? What were the energies at the house? Maybe this isn't our deck. We'll see. Oh. Show me the energies of the house at Summer Wells. Okay. We have the Knight of One, Desire, and High Priestess, Inner Wisdom. A knowing. Something felt like it touched my arm. We have a Knight of One's Desire, an Inner Knowing, High Priestess. This can be a seer, somebody that studies um, spiritual means, esoteric. We have key on the board. Energy. Now it says key. And then we have the Knight of Wands, desire. So the Knight is usually someone young, teenagerish. Pages are children. So this is a teenager Knight of Wands. That makes me wonder about age. And then I think of grandma. I'm not saying that's who it is. I'm saying could be. Let's understand a little bit further. So is that all? We have two. We only have two energies. Because there were times when Candace was telling Chris McDonough that no, no one was home. And then Don didn't want to go home because he didn't want to be alone. So what's going on here? What is going on here? Ooh. We have King of Cups. Fascination. King of Cups. Deep feeling. We have the hanged one, perception, and she's on her swing, and cards are flying. Playing outside. <clears throat> she's on her swing, playing perception, getting a whole new perspective. All right? Who was watching Summer? Show me the inner scream. Oh my God. There it is. Key is the scream, you guys. Express energy, key, scream. Remember, there was a scream. Hanged one perception. Oh, I just got something weird. Um, something weird. Something with the neck. I just, phenomena. Phenomenon. Phenomenon. Oh, show me, show me this new perspective of the hanged one. I just got the weirdest idea. I hope to God it's not true. It says area. Might want to timestamp that. A R I A. I'll do that so I know to timestamp. <laughs> that way, when I'm scanning the video for a timestamp, I'll see that movement and be like, yeah. Okay, let's get into this. What is this new perception of the energies of the house? What is this new perception? There is definitely something. Nine of Swords, anxiety now at the house. That scream is coming into play in my mind. Yeah, let's get a different deck of cards. Abuse, oh my God. That could be area, like uh, area, says phenomenon, which is an occurrence. Scream, phenomenon, area, could be like a location, area, abuse. And I know it's spelled different. I'm not talking about that. Okay, I want to go on the outside here. Whew. I'm hearing the words where the mother said, 
Nobody would have done her like that if I was there. Never. Ever. You know, I'm hearing those words. Done her like what, Candace? Okay. I gotta understand this better. I'm gonna grab the good tarot. All right, let me understand this Knight of Wands energy. Desire is there, this young teen. Show me this person's energy. Divine timing. They could be about 14 years old. Patience. Mixing of cups. So many mixed up cups. Okay. Explore. Explore the high priestess. Let's see what she knows that does not speak of. What is this? What is this high priestess? Please and share what they know. Share what the high priestess has hidden. And thank you. There's a story. Seven of Swords. The high priestess knows who did this. It's Seven of Swords. It's in reverse. You could take it as an accident or you could take it as somebody hiding what they've done. <clears throat> we have five of earth being left out in the cold, ignored, feeling left alone. And then we have the new perspective, which is a 12. We have moving to collar grounds, definitely being taken in a vehicle. To something that was considered a wish fulfillment. That big giant diamond sitting in the stool. There's a messenger of earth. A message about wish fulfillment and it coming in fast. Moving to comic grounds. Actual travel gives a new perspective and it takes you out of being left out in the cold. Oh my God. Okay. Abuse. Explore radio. Drag equally. Search, equally search. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and get a different deck here. I want to understand. Hold on a minute, guys. I couldn't get the deck to pick up. I want to understand this Knight of Wands desire. As energy on the house, search, search the house. You know, keeps coming back how the dog handler says that they started on the exterior door of the basement for the dog search, but she did not confirm that the dogs went in to the house. Just saying, why weren't the dogs taken in the house? Okay, Knight of Wands. Let's understand this Knight of Wands. This is somebody very young. Possibly, like I said, around 14. Seven of Wands, feeling defensive. Feeling defensive. Protecting something. Were they the babysitter? Weapon. What about weapon? Search. Weapon. What weapon, Summer? Show me what weapon. Seven of Swords, Lair Cheater, Thief. Defending... The liar, cheater, thief, two sevens in a row. I always get seven, seven. Family helping. Wow. Wow. We get two words that make sense. Oh, my God. Self-esteem. Regularly. Second. Told. Express energy. Key. Scream. Phenomenon. Area. Abuse. Explore, radio, drag, equally search, weapon, family helping. What? What? And I'm getting seven Z's over here. Yeah, seven, seven. I keep feeling gambling. No matter how I get this, I get gambling. Atmosphere, what does that mean? Family helping. Okay, atmosphere. So I have the Knight of Wands defending the liar, cheater, thiefer. 
patience. Why is this? Why is this Knight of Wands defending the liar, cheater, thiefer, lover? Because they feel as though this is someone that they are in love with and they want a new beginning for that person. With that person. <sighs> Show me this King of Cups, this fascination challenge. Jail. Well, we know Don's been to jail. Atmosphere, jail. That's right. Justice will prevail. Truth always comes out, doesn't it, Summer? King of Cups, fascination. What is this about the Scorpio, please? The Empress in reverse. Somebody that um, doesn't want to play mom no more is an Empress in reverse. Jail, ironically. There was hidden emotion by a person that didn't want to play mom no more. This is somebody that is sees themselves as the most important person in their world and no longer sees the value of others. They go after what they want and they are extremely manipulative. Then you could also see it as a little hidden empress which means that Summer could be the little hidden empress, which a King of Cups was very fascinated with. Emotionally, too. Ironically emotional. There's jealousy on the board in so many ways. Show me this story about her being, this vehicle being used to come charging in and then move to calmer ground. This Left out in the cold energy. So the liar, cheater, thief, which is the seven of seven of air in reverse. Hidden liar, cheater, thief. The fox left her out in the cold. Felt left out in the cold and wanted a new perspective. So they came up with an idea that was wish fulfillment of taking this car and going to calmer grounds. Right. All right. Let me understand this high priestess a little bit. Just want the high priestess. The tower. The seer knew. She saw this all. She saw how it went down. Damn. That's when everything changes right there. So that's what caused the tower, because this is the rest of the tower right here. It's a liar, cheater, thief, ignoring someone, not watching them. Gets a whole new perspective because somebody comes up and says, what the hell? Where's my daughter? Then the car moving to calmer grounds. So whoever was watching the child experienced a tower moment. It's coming out. It's coming out. There's some guilt associated here. Stream. Stream. And pizza. I always get pizza with summer. I think they had pizza to eat or something. Show me this hanged one. Queen of Pentacles and the protection card. New perspective for the Queen of Pentacles and the strength. Oh. Okay. Name. Name is coming. Name the person, Summer. Name the person. What name? What name are you going to share? Glance. Yeah, I know who I see. 
I don't want to say. I could be wrong. Now my place to draw conclusions. Somebody was not watching her. And they, they're the wire cheater thief. They were supposed to be watching this child. And they were not. Okay. Knight of Wands. Seven of Wands and Seven of Swords. So we have seven, seven. We also have that uh, six for the lovers and a zero for the fool. Let's understand this. Illumination. Ten of Cups. Eleventh House. It's all about how others see you. It's your social media. We have Ten of Cups. Something very happy. Something very happy about the house. Remember, we're doing the day, so it seemed happy. It said, oh my God. Name, glance, road, cemetery. What? I have got goosebumps. Going to return happiness to the home. How? Clarity and thank you. Protection. Queen of Wands protection. We just got this. I just saw these two cards together. Where? Right up here. The Queen of Pentacles and strength. The hanged one. The new perception. Hanged one. Ooh. Getting a weird feeling, you guys. Clarity. I'm wondering if that hanged one is legitimately she got hung. Wisdom. A weird offer by the law. Something... Smells fishy. We have a king of swords. In wisdom. Your seventh house. It's your one on one. King of swords. Energy. Taurus Aquarius. Gemini Capricorn. Something smells fishy here. Yes, indeed. It's... All right, so what's this Empress in Reverse? Show me this love. What is this Empress in Reverse? The single one. Single one. Show me who the single one is. Give me a little bit more who the single energy, independent energy, ended the cycle. The single one ended the cycle. Somebody had a deep fascination in the end of the cycle. Okay. Show me how this cycle ended in trust, our physical world, please. Show me what took place. So there was a contract or a deal made that ended in regret. And justice will be served. Spilt some cups. This dill spilt some cups. You could see it as a deal made with the law, too. It's your material world. It can be about your finances. We definitely have contracts working together, cooperating with regret and justice. Tilt. It says cemetery. Tilt. That's so weird. It says that road. Okay. Growth. Show me what we've what we've grown out of this. What have we gained from this entire horrible experience, please? Where's my summer's body? Yeah, we've grown. Okay. So there was communication that went into the Knight of Pentacles. 
We have the King of Cups down here. This is the Knight of Pentacles, somebody that's out making the money. Communication came into him about the Ten of Swords. This is being betrayed ten ways in the back. And this is my Laid to Rest card. All right, so this couldn't be more clear if I tried. This high priestess, this is a seer, a knower, somebody that practices um, spiritual art. Is the one having the tower moment. Oh, shit. All right. Show me this high priestess. Who's their energy? Bring it up to speed, please, Summer. Show me who the high priestess is, and I already know. Hanged man. The one that needed a new perspective. They had to step back from everything. They had to step back. Because it cost the tower moment. Tower lands on them. They had the tower moment. They're the experiencer of the tower moment. Show me what perspective they got. There was this opportunity of options that was confusing, very defensive, making a plan, going away to make a plan. They were so confused, so they took the opportunity to go sort it out because they felt defensive and confused. Now they've got a plan. They're kind of stuck, but they're going to make a plan. They're making a plan. They've returned to the situation right back to the house. You know who I'm talking about. Experience. <clears throat> Show me the physical world. What's going on there? What did she see? And yes, that's a she. What did she see? The high priestess see? She saw the queen of pentacle. Um, the, the motherly energy, if you will, in the deck. It says stay. Tilt, net, stay. Trying to capture something. Stay something. Stay. <gasps> Garden box. Beside garden box. Oh my God, this reading's freaking me out so much. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys, I hope TBI gets us. And I know people say, oh, they get so stupid. If it's not hardcore, whatever. I mean, look. We have garden box. Tilt. Net. So there's usually netting or, or plastic or something underneath the dirt, maybe. Stay garden box beside. Wow. Moon. The smoky trail that the mother took. That the queen of pentacles took. She knows the trail. Show me this cleansing, the new perspective of the queen of pentacles and the strength. Show me this. What is this qualifying? Thank you. The liar, cheater, thiefer. Could be that Queen of Pentacles took this opportunity. The Seven of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. It's a um, liar, cheater, thiefer taking an opportunity. Of tug of war. Making something that was. That could be a mess. Just jumping in and using it as an opportunity. Adding to the confusion if you will. What's this renewal? What is the renewal please for the hanged one. That needed a new perspective. Three of broken hearts. This is a family member. It's in the scorpionic position. 
Three of Swords. That means heartbreak. The decision is in reverse. It's a forced decision of heartbreak. Show me impurity. Show me impurity. Out of balance, lovers. There was some loving going on, I'll tell you that. They were out of balance and something had to get put down because they were ignoring this child. And this hanged one, this high priestess that knows this, she's going to be breaking some hearts. She's, got, she's getting a plan together. What is this Nine of Swords? She's going through anxiety. Is the Nine of Swords. It's a nightmare. I heard it's an effing nightmare. So she's returned to her home. So you know who the high priestess is at the house. Yeah, she knows what happened. She knows who the liar cheater thief is. This Knight of Wands. Somebody would, may have been off property making a booty call haul. I don't know. Tried to get the energies here of what was going on in the house where you can see it's given me that somebody's returning to the home, that they are the one that originally had the tower moment. It always starts off with Grandma gave Summer a piece of candy. She gave her a piece of candy. She gave her a piece of candy. And then it goes from there. Want a different deck? Hold on just a Jeff Lovelies. I want to understand. Are you showing me Grandma Candy as the High Priestess? Are you showing me Grandma Candy as the High Priestess? Thank you. Yeah, Ace of Pinnacle took the opportunity. What is this opportunity? Show me Grandma Candy. Show me Grandma. The Emperor in reverse. More of a masculine energy in reverse. <sighs> Summer, what happened? Five of one, there was some battling of words and communication. Ace of cups, the dolls. Knight of wands came into the picture. Closed the cycle with the wheel, trying to move things forward really quick. Led to the ten of swords. This nine of pentacle left somebody single. Oh, Jesus. A tower moment happened. Left out in the cold. Somebody was hurt. They were left out in the cold, and they had to call the king of pentacles and tell him the bullshit. And we have as above, as below with the four of pentacles. Somebody's still holding on. We have deep, deep reflection. It's almost like a lie, a mirage. Told the King of Pentacles a lie. Did Candace lie to Don? And is he buying it? There's a lie here somehow. Disembowel, what the fuck? <coughs> swear, I'm sorry, I swore. What is that? I need a drink. <coughs> That's horrific. Clear ground. Let's get some blessings on this reading right away. I don't want to dig any deeper on this. I think that's about all I can get for us, but she knows, and she was there for it. She was there for it. Looks like it may have happened at the situation with the grandma. When the tower landed on the seer, right? 
Give me a blessing for that uh, Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, this Liar, Cheater, Thief. Is somebody defending the Liar, Cheater, Thief or Karma DNA? Gonna come back on them. Bike. Bike. What happened on the bike? Who was on a bike? Shimmer this Empress in reverse and the fascination with the King of Cups and thank you. Childhood innocence going down to the water, the stream. Just a little water. Could be by that cotton blind. A cotton blind is that thing, that structure that's made out of wood that looks like a deer tower that you would stand up in. It's all bottomed out there. Stuff is all broken. The wood, it goes down to just like six inches of water. Maybe maybe knee-deep water. But if a person uh, fell through that, it makes you wonder what would happen. Okay. Let me understand what happened with the bike. Shema's High Priestess, this tower and this opportunity. Had to do with familiar family. It's Grandma. She's in her head. What does she know? What does she know? What's going to happen? Is Grandma going to help Summer? Is Grandma going to help Summer? Or is she going to remain quiet? Lake stillness. She's letting things lie where they may. Uh-huh. Let the universe... It's submerged. Yeah. She keeps it buried. She's about to get a whole new perspective from the universe. Somebody is. They're going to get a whole new perspective with the hanged one. And that's when the truth will be revealed. Show me a blessing for all of our listeners here. Yeah, there'll be some big communication, love and compassion, ebb and flow, ocean of emotion, and something that's hidden. There's going to be a wake-up call for somebody. Pop goes a weasel. Wouldn't that be great? Pop goes a weasel because a weasel is a liar, cheater, thiefer. Pop goes a weasel. Ooh, I like that idea. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing your energy with me and um, just hanging out with me for this reading. And with that, that's what I have for us today. I love you to the moon and back. God bless you all. Thank you.